Hey everybody, this is Eric Worre and welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. Today I want to share one of the principles that's worked with me and many of the top earners that I've known in my career. If you want to accelerate your growth, accelerate your success, accelerate the number of goals that you're going to hit, not only this year, but next year and beyond, uh, follow this principle. Now, it's an old principle, but I think I can tell you why it works, at least from my perspective, okay? Here's the idea. You've heard about it in the, in the, the movie The Secret. There's lots of old, old ancient texts that talk about it. But here's what I believe is the most powerful force, one of the most powerful forces on earth, and that is your imagination, what you can imagine. Now, most people misuse their imagination. In other words, they think about what bad things could happen. They let their imagination go wild to the negative side, how they could get hurt, how they could get rejected, what could, you know, all the terrible things that could happen. Um, but the most successful people, um, and, and I will tell you, I've used this in my life for my whole life, and it's, well, my whole adult career at least, and it's worked unbelievable, is using your imagination for good, using it for growth. Now, here's what I, what, I, what I mean by that. If you pick a goal, whatever it is, let's say you want to meet someone, let's say you want to achieve a rank, let's say you want to get to an income goal, let's say you want to have a certain number of people in your group at the next company event, whatever it is, okay? I want you to clearly imagine it. Get it so clear in your mind that it's like you're living it in reality. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? As clear as you can get it. And when you're talking about what, the, what this, this, uh, this picture in your mind it's good to put it in writing, and it's good to make it as, as detailed as you possibly can. How do you feel now that you've achieved that goal? How many lives are you impacting now that you've accomplished that objective? Whatever it is, it doesn't matter what it is. But the key is detail. The key is specifics. The key is a clear, crystal clear mental picture. Okay, so if you have a goal, I'd like you to just go through this exercise with me today and get a clear mental picture of what it looks like, okay? What it feels like, what it tastes like, what it smells like, how you feel, how other people, look, how they're looking at you because of how, what you've accomplished. What is your family? How are they reacting because you've made that objective a reality, okay? So get it clear and then just go about your life because here's what what ends up happening, and it's happened to me so many times you can't even imagine. Uh, as soon as I get it clearly in my mind, it's not long before that thing becomes a reality. Now, it's not a magic trick, okay? You can't just sit at home and imagine a Lamborghini and it pulls up into the driveway and somebody gives you the keys. It's not a magic trick like that. Um, here's why I believe it works. Your subconscious brain is working all the time, no matter what you're doing. It's working, it's, 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 it's helping you guide and, and shift and make different decisions. But if you get a clear picture in your mind, I believe you unlock the power of your subconscious mind. And when you unlock the power of your subconscious mind, it starts to grind and grind and grind and grind to make the picture that you have in your imagination a reality. And there starts to be thousands of what I like to call micro decisions that start to happen. Little left turn, right turn, little course corrections, thousands of them that are happening all the time. While you sleep, your subconscious brain is, is working to help you guide you towards that objective. If you're mowing the lawn, if you're doing the laundry, yet subconscious mind is working. If your imagination is strong enough, and clear enough, your subconscious mind is working and working and grinding and grinding and moving. It's not like you're attracting those things to you. You're attracting yourself to those things because your subconscious mind is working for you. It's like a slave for you, working and grinding and working and grinding and working and grinding to help you get to your objective. Thousands and thousands of little decisions. You didn't even know why you made them. They were made because, one, 
you had a clear picture in your mind. Two, your subconscious brain went to work without you even realizing it. And three, step by step, inch by inch, you moved closer to your objective until you attained it. So the picture that you have in your mind is incredibly important because guess what? If you have a negative picture in your mind, a negative picture in your imagination, your subconscious mind is going to go to work to make that a reality too. Thousands of little micro decisions to guide you towards the negative. So who wants to live with that? Who wants to put your subconscious mind to work as your employee to work for you and work against you? Why would you want to do that? So get a clear picture of your goals, of your objectives, of your vision, of, of anything you want to accomplish, anyone that you want to meet, anything that you want to do. I've envisioned getting on a stage that I wanted to, to speak on. I've, en I've envisioned uh, having thousands of people in the room. I've envisioned relationships with top of my heroes in personal development, with Jim Rohns and the Tony Robbins and the Richard Bransons and all the different people. I've imagined those relationships long before they became a reality. And then my subconscious mind went to work and it ground, it, it, it was grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding thousands of decisions until it became a reality. So one, think of something that's important to you. Get it clear in your mind and then let your subconscious mind grind for you. Let it work for you. Let it create results for you because you deserve it. That's our show for today. Ladies and gentlemen, my wish for all of you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional that you decide to go pro because it is a stone cold fact that we do have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, my name is Eric Worre, and if you're involved in the network marketing profession, I want to invite you to come to the Network Marketing Pro YouTube channel. Every week, we put out content on how you can become a network marketing professional. We have tips, ideas, strategies, interviews with million dollar earners in the profession, interviews with global icons like Tony Robbins or Sir Richard Branson, lots of different things that we provide there absolutely free. Do yourself a favor, click on the link, subscribe to the YouTube channel, tell your friends to do the same, and I can't wait to see you there.